What is going on guys? King Atlas coming at you with my top 10 Cydia tweaks for January of 2016. These are in no particular order, so let's stop wasting your time and let's get into this video. Coming up with number one is called Lockbeam. Lockbeam is a tweak that allows you to add custom taps to your lock screen to enable the flashlight. This comes in super handy. All you have to do is have the screen turned on and do your taps and you can set your taps from one to I believe up to five. Super handy. Coming up next is called Instant Touch ID. A lot of Android users are already used to this. Basically you can awake your smartphone by just placing your finger over the fingerprint sensor. This is a super convenient feature to have on iOS and it actually works super well with this next tweak called Speed Intensifier that allows you to speed up your animations and basically kind of tweak animations to make your smartphone seem a little bit faster. This is super handy to have. And if you've noticed, my iPhone is just moving through applications like butter. Up next is called GBA for iOS. This is actually not even a jailbreak tweak. You don't even need to be jailbroken to utilize this application. Basically, it's a Game Boy Advance emulator that really allows you to load any Game Boy Advance game ever as long as you get the ROM. There's no lag or anything. It runs very smooth. It has a nice autosave feature and overall just a super dope thing to have on your iPhone. If you're using iOS, if you're not using GBA for iOS, I don't know what you're doing. This is super fun. Coming up next is called One Hand Wizard. For example, I have the 6S Plus. This allows me to use my iPhone with only one hand and that you can basically switch the animations depending on what hand you're using and actually resize the screen. It's super handy to have one of my favorite tweaks. CC color is up next and basically this tweak allows you to change the color of your control center. It has a really simple interface and pretty much allows you to change instantaneously. So I can just pick my color here and it will change the control center. Pretty cool tweak. Coming up next is called barrel. This is a classic tweak that allows you to change the animation when you switch screen. So for example, if I click radar, it will have a radar sense when I'm switching through pages. I've always liked this tweak just because it allows for a little bit of change when navigating through iOS. Next app is a very subtle one. It's called Wi-Fi status bar. Basically, whenever I'm connected to my home network, you see that little home icon. It's actually really handy to have and looks pretty cool as well. Also up next is probably one of my favorite Cydia tweaks of all time as of right now. It's called Snapper 2. I've always wanted this feature on my iPhone and now it's finally out with this tweak. You can basically take custom screenshots on the go and it's really handy to have. Shout out to Jeff Benjamin actually. If you guys watch his video, this is how I found out about it super handy to have you have share options you have a save and close option and just in general this is a super handy tweak to have just because i take a lot of screenshots in the first place and i really enjoy this feature actually on my note 5. last but not least is a tweak called spring to mize now this app i can pretty much do a whole video on if i really wanted to but basically in a nutshell this app allows you to really customize the whole the entire ui of your iphone from the app to the dock to the pages you name it, this app will allow true customization when you jailbreak your device. That's going to wrap up my top 10 city tweaks for January of 2016. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ham on that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out my last couple videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace.